everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video, I am doing a reveal of my Make 9 2021. So before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so Make 9, so back in, I wanna say, January, February, I may have posted in March, to be honest with you. Um, but if you go back to video number 58, I believe, it tells you my Make 9 2021 sewing plans. And I'll also go ahead and put a card up at the top so you could go ahead and click on that after you see this video, of course. Um, so back then in February, March of this year, I did a video of my Make 9 2021 sewing plans. And the goal for Make 9, if you don't know what Make 9 is, let me tell you what Make 9 is. So Make 9 is nine things you want to make during the year. Now, there's different ways of different people want to just make the most common patterns that's been out for the last year, two years, what have you, right? And then some people have a strategy to what they want to do for their Make 9. Now, how I do my Make 9 is two ways. One, I go to my closet and see the gaps or holes that are in my closet that are lacking. So I pick patterns based off of the items that are lacking in my closet. After I do that, I make a list of those holes and see what I need to fill first, second, third, fourth, what have you, right? So that's how I do mine. Now, I wanted to uh, pick things that one, I would wear, two, that's comfortable, and things that are gaps in my closet. So, like I said, from video number 58, it tells you the things that um, I put on my Make 9. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the items that are on my Make 9, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So number one, the first thing that is on my Make 9. I, well, first I wanna tell you, I broke it down into uh, dress, top, pants, bottoms, pants, bottoms, and then like a casual and a business, okay? So how I broke mine down is I wanted to have two, co two coats or jackets, two dresses, that would be four, two pairs of pants, that would be six, and then um, two tops, that would be eight, and then one was a business um, set, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about the dresses first. So the two dresses that I wanted to make this year was a tiered dress and a one-shoulder dress. The one-shoulder dress was utilizing Simplicity 8380, so for that dress, I did a mommy and me. So I remember doing my dress in this white and uh, white, red and green floral fabric, which of course I'll put all the photos up on the screen so you can recap with me what it looked like. I also did my daughter a dress and her pattern was Simplicity 2377, I think. Of course, I will put all that information uh, up on the screen of the pattern numbers as well. So I did a mommy and me for that pattern. If you look back in a couple of what you're working on Wednesdays, you will know that I had an issue with gaping on the side, so I had to create a pleat in order to make that dress work. But once again, that was the one shoulder dress. The second dress that I created was a tiered dress. And that tiered dress was uh, utilizing Butterick 6677. You guys know I love this dress. This is one of those dresses that gets a lot of wear. It is made with the same fabric that I am wearing right now, which was a Toy Story fabric. So this dress, the reason why I picked this pattern is for two reasons. One, comfort. This is one of those dresses that you could throw on with a blazer and be out the door. This is also a dress that you could either pair with heels and pair with tennis shoes as well and give a nice polished look or a dressy look um, if you throw on a cardigan or something like that. You could take this dress from day to a night out. So that was the reason why I picked this dress to go on my Make 9. Now that I talked about the dresses, let's go ahead and talk about the tops that I created for my Make 9. 
So the first top, oh, yes, for uh, one of the tops that I created that's on my list is um, the two-piece set, which is McCall 7757. So this was a pattern that came out, I wanna say 2017, 2018, and it was a big hit. Now, I originally picked the pattern for the pants, but I was like, let's do a two-piece set. So I wanna say this, the pants get a lot of wear. The top does not because for my job, I cannot wear that top whatsoever and keep it up here, you know what I mean? Because it's kind of like an off the shoulder top. So when I made this, I did not uh, take that into consideration. I was just making it because it's a two piece set. But now going into 2022, I do have plans on making things that I can wear both work and outside of work, not just work related or, or just outside work related. So I'm gonna tell you my 2022 plans here towards the end of the video. So that's one of the things that I created for the top. The second top that I created is Simplicity 9114, part of the top series during the summertime, a camisole using a Mimi G pattern. Once again, that's Simplicity 9114. And the reason why I created that top and that pattern is because I needed more uh, spring summer type garments, which is during the summertime, I did the um, Summers, out all, Summers Out Arms Out series to create so many tops for the summertime. So that was one of the patterns that I wanted to do. Now, the original plan was to sew every single um, view on that pattern which I have plans to do in 2022 to sew both view A as well as view B um, since I already sewed view C. So I do have fabric to pair um, with what I already sewn for Simplicity 9114. So after the tops, let's go ahead and talk about the pants that I sewn. So for the pants, I sewn my TNT pattern. I think I made Simplicity 1165. I wanna say I probably made those pants a total of six times this year. Um, and I'm gonna put each and every one of those pair of pants up on the screen, okay? Um, that is a great, great pattern. If you have not heard um, over on Crampity and Sewing, she likes these pants. Creativity by T, she loves these pants, this pa pant pattern. Um, I have sewn it. A lot of people on Instagram have DM'd me and said, thank you for recommending this pattern because one is easy, two, it's only five pieces, and three, it shouldn't take you no more than three hours to sew this uh, pattern together. And let me tell you a little hit. I also did a sew along for it, so I take the stress out of trying to put pants together. The only thing you would have to do is basically make sure that the pants fit your, uh, hip measurement. So um, that was another thing that's great about this pattern as well. And I am so glad that I have tons of pants or trousers in my um, wardrobe because of this pattern, Simplicity 1165. Moving on from pants, let's go ahead and talk about that business suit that I created. So the original plan was to sew every single view on this, um, pattern, which is Butterick 6030. Well, I started off with the top and the skirt, and I figured the pants, easy peasy, fresh and freezy, right? And the jacket. But in doing so, I stopped doing this pattern after the top and the skirt. And the reason why is because for a business um, wardrobe, I would never wear a crop top as a business wardrobe. That's just not my style, that's just not my jam, that's not my jazz whatsoever. And because I deal with children daily, I would not want my tummy showing, uh, even though the skirt, uh, how the top portion of the top, it does cover your skirt, it does. But if you raise your arms up a little bit, you may have a little bit of problems, okay? So I didn't want that um, issue so, I took pictures in it and everything, and it is being donated to my older sisters who's tinier than I am, of course. Um, but she will have the items that I no longer 
will keep in my closet. Um, I'll be sending that box out to her pretty soon. But that was the reason why I did not sew the rest of that pattern together because I do have plans to sew it again, yes. Um, but what I would do this time around is lengthen that, um, the top portion by about two to three inches before sewing it together. Then I would not have that issue of, you know, you raise your arm, you, it's so cropped to the point where it's showing your belly button. I don't want those issues whatsoever. So I would make changes to that. I also did record the top as well as the skirt. However, I mentioned it in one of my What You Working On Wednesdays that I will not release that video because one, this pattern is out of print. When I originally selected this pattern, it was still in the pattern drawer. Some Joann's still have this pattern, which is Butterick 6030 in the pattern drawer but I will no longer do this as a business collection. So I did not complete the entire collection. I just did the top and the uh, skirt for that. So that was the business suit that I created. Moving on from the business suit, let's talk about that shirt dress. I did, I did not do a shirt dress, okay? Because I didn't have enough fabric to do the entire shirt dress. So what I'm talking about is Simplicity 8341. I did, I made it into a top instead of a shirt dress. So let me tell you this, this, this one for the Make Nine was a collaboration and the collaboration with the love, it was with the lovely Talisha from Creativity by T. We did this as part of the Ankara Appreciation Week. And when I say I love, 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 love that I did a top instead of a dress. Let me tell you why. So when I created this top, I also paired it with a skirt from my Disney African Princess collection that I did in February. My husband, ha he pretty much see every single garment that I sew. He said, you created a dress? What happened to the top? What? So when I told him, I said, this is the top. I tucked it inside the skirt and zipped it up and everything. And it actually looked like a dress. And I love that look of, you know, being able to style it two ways with the jeans as well as with the skirt. So I have worn that top two to three times since making it. I have worn the skirt three or four times since making it. And one thing that I do wanna mention is my garments get worn <laughs> quite often. I wanna say daily, I'm wearing a me mate instead of a uh, ready to wear. I wear a lot of my uh, sewn garments instead of my ready to wear, unless I'm running out the house real quick and I'm just, you know, out and about real quick, I may throw on a t-shirt, but not too often, okay? Um, so that is the shirt dress that I created. Now, lastly, let's go ahead and talk about the jackets that I created, okay? So one of the jackets that I created is the bomber jacket. I created Simplicity 8418 and I did it twice. So the first time I sewn the jacket was for Mother's Day. Um, and that was another collaboration with the lovely Creativity by T as well as Textile Taylor Thought. We did, uh, Heather, by the way, um, we did a collaboration, all three of us did a collaboration for Mother's Day and the theme was just basically mommy and me. So I did, I used the same fabric for myself as well as my daughter. I did Simplicity 8418, the bomber jacket, and her pattern was Simplicity 8429, I believe, for the bomber jacket I created for her. I paired it with some um, jeans as well as the trousers, which was 1165 for that trouser pattern as well. I love, love, love that pattern, both patterns actually. And then with the bomber jacket, I created it again <laughs> and collaborated again with Talisha from Creativity by T. Now listen, I wanna say something about the collaboration. So this year I collab collaborated a lot with Talisha from Creativity by T for a couple of reasons. For some reason, Talisha and I, when we do our sewing plans, we happen to want to sew the same patterns almost every single month. It's not intentional simply because 
Talisha doesn't know what I plan on sewing. It's basically when we release the video after recording it, I will either say, oh, I have that fabric if she's doing a fabric haul, or, oh, I plan on sewing that pattern next month. And then what's the next thing we do? We should collaborate. So that's how I was able to collaborate with Talisha from Creativity by T so many times this year. And I'm pretty sure we will collaborate moving forward in 2022. We just don't have anything planned coming up at all. But you know, she knows that I'm always down to collaborate with her. She's one of the, she's one of a great friend, a great YouTuber, by the way, and she puts out wonderful content and I just love her personality. She makes everything fun. If you don't know who Creativity by T is, you should know her by now because we have collaborated so many times and she's a wonderful person, okay? So um, the last thing I wanna tell you about the um, Make Nine. So I talked about the dresses, the tops, the pants, the jackets, all of that, and I told you all, I showed you all nine patterns that I use for my Make Nine. Now that I talked about my Make Nine for 2021, let's go ahead and talk about my Make Nine for 2022 and what I plan on doing for 2022. All right, so for the Make Nine 2022, I have nine patterns that I plan on making. These are the patterns that one, will complement what I need and fill these gaps in my closet. So I plan on doing five dresses, one track suit, one jacket, one coat, and one pair of overalls. All right, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> now, I want to talk about the dresses. So some of these dresses will be part of my dress series, which I will talk about in another video. Um, they will be part of my dress series as well, but these are the dresses that have made the cut of what's on my Make Nine list, okay? So let's get right on into my Make Nine for 2022. So the first dress that, well, I'm gonna say that these are not in order <laughs> whatsoever, but the first one on the list of the dress portion is the raglan sleeve dress. And the raglan sleeve dress, I wanna use McCall's 8-2, I think it's 8-2-1-2, is the pattern for that dress. Um, so the reason why I chose this is because I feel like this would be a great out of the house with tennis shoes look, as well as a date night with my husband look as well. I, I know the pattern comes with a floppy hat. I plan on doing that as well and be cute, casual, and all of the feels. Um, and I do like a raglan sleeve dress. So I think this pattern will fit the bill for what I need in my closet for both spring and summer. The second dress would be the Reese PDF pattern by Mimi G. I feel like this is more of like a camisole dress and I think it would be great for summer. Um, I have plans of creating two. Um, so one of them I want to create with like, I have like this lacy uh, embroidered print fabric that's in my stash. And then I also wanna create another one. Um, I don't know if I want stripes down, straight up and down that I have some fabric for it. Or if I wanna color block, I'm not sure exactly what the second one will be, but I do plan on creating two from that pattern of the Reese's PDF pattern by Mimi G. The third dress is a dress with ties. So for this pattern, it's going to be a little bit of hacking going on for this pattern that I have in my mind, and it's New Look 6208. So in the back of that pattern, which I, of course I'll put the pattern up on the screen so you can see, in the back of that pattern, it has bows. I don't want bows, I actually want ties. So I'm gonna hack that pattern piece. I have not looked at the pattern piece yet, but I will. Um, my plan is to hack that pattern piece and make it ties or create a tie pattern long enough to create a bow tie in the back of the dress. So that is the plan for that pattern and that is the dress with ties. The fourth dress that I wanna do, it's been on my list since 2017 and I don't know why I have not done this pattern yet, but it is the Mimi G's PDF pattern, the Jessica dress, by the way. This dress have 
I mean, so many sewers have sewn this dress. This is more of a great sundress. I could literally see myself at the pool in this dress, okay? Now, you guys know that I don't create a lot of dresses with, uh, or tops with just shoulder straps um, or spaghetti straps. Reason being is because the girls gotta be covered at all times. I mean, you can't have one without the other and I do not do a lot of things that are revealing. And the reason why is because of my job, I just can't. So this dress would be more of a summer's dress when I am not with children um, all summer long, <laughs> other than my own, okay? So for those of you who don't know, I teach, and um, I teach both high school, college, and middle school. So middle school, high school, and college students. Um, so um, therefore, being on camera with the children daily, I just, tend not to wear anything that's revealing to, yeah, I like to stay away from things that can cause you problems, okay? <laughs> so the last dress, the fifth dress is a cold shoulder dress. So the cold shoulder dress, I want to use, let me see, let me check my notes. Thank you. Um, new look 6512, and that is one of the older new look patterns, but this has been on my list for a long time. I was going to sew the top, for the coat shoulder top back in the summertime and I scratched that because I know that I want to sew the dress. So this would be part of the dress series, the coat shoulder dress as well. So those are the five dresses that I want to sew. Reason being is because of course my closet is not lacking dresses, but I do want dress for dresses for the summertime because it is really hot in Orlando in the summertime and I think pull off those jeans, stop wearing jeans in the summertime because it's too hot for that, or pants, you know, or trousers, and wear some uh, dresses to let your legs and everything in between breathe, if you know what I'm saying. All right, um, so moving on from the dresses, I want to create one tracksuit. You guys know. The tracksuit that I'm talking about is Mimi G's Simplicity 8702. It's been on my list forever. <laughs> I want to do color block. I probably would only color block two colors, no more than three for the look that I want to do. I have not decided on the color block colors yet, but it will be amazing once I get to it in the fall time of next year, okay? So once again, that's Simplicity 8702, the tracksuit. So moving off from the tracksuit, I wanna create one jacket. So I did it. I did this uh, pattern this year and I did a sew along for it. It's new look 6035. Now I put it back on my list to do the jacket for a couple of reasons. The reason why is because I did unlined version for that sew along. This time around I want to do a lined version of that jacket and it was just, you know, I put it back on the list because that is a great pattern. New look 6035 if I do say so myself. <laughs> And of course, it is a very detailed tutorial that I did for this jacket. So I just want to definitely, um, I will probably sew this pattern at least two or three times because I am a blazer person. So I love blazers, so I would do blazers as well. Um, but that made the list again this year, this upcoming year in 2022, new look 6035 for a jacket. Moving on from the jacket, I wanna create one coat. That coat pattern is an old Mimi G pattern, Simplicity 1016. Now I know you guys are probably thinking, why you wanna create a coat? It doesn't really get cold in Orlando. Listen, <laughs> don't judge me, judge yourself, honey. Um, the reason why I wanna create a coat, to be honest, is because I have always wanted to do that pattern. Um, and even though it does not get very, very cold in Orlando, we do have some chilly mornings and we do, like we did um, have two weeks of a coat front. And I just think from time to time to create a coat would be great. And that is one of the coat patterns that's been on my list to sew. And instead of me putting it at, you know, putting things at the bottom of the list, I start moving things to the top of the list. And what I'm doing is going through the older patterns that's been on the list forever and knocking those out first. So that is the plan as well to sew Simplicity 1016, which is a Mimi G pattern for a winter coat. So I plan on sewing that towards the end of uh, the year, this time next year, 2022. And the last thing that's on the list is overalls. So I have not worn overalls since I was about 
11 or 12 years old, okay? <laughs> so my plan is to make overalls um, to wear. And I want to make some nice floral. I think I wanna do it in floral. I have some floral fabric that I plan on using um, for these overalls. And the pattern that I want to use is Simplicity 9382 for the overalls. And I think it would be amazing to take it back to the 90s, maybe the late 80s when overalls was a big thing. Now, if I don't plan on doing it in floral, if I do not do it in floral, I do plan on doing it in corduroy because I did, when I was a kid, my father dressed me up in these brown corduroy overalls and I could just think of the picture right now because it was my fourth or fifth grade photo back in the early 80s, okay? And I did not like them, but <laughs> because I like corduroy now, I may actually like them, okay? And I remember it was corduroy overalls with a plaid shirt and the big cabbage patch bun because my hair was a lot longer at the time. Um, yeah, my dad used to do my hair, believe it or not. He was actually pretty good, to be honest, for a guy, um, but yeah. Anyway, outside of that, those are the nine things that uh, I plan on creating for my Make 9 2022. That's all that I have for you in this video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time.